fundamentals of microcontroller that is 8051 microcontroller fundamentals and good afternoon i am rajini pierce training officer nsti chennai okay what is a microcontroller a microcontroller is a single chip microcomputer that is what are the uh, things available inside a computer everything in a single chip that is called a microcontroller that are, what are the different parts in a computers the cpu memory input and a digital out input output part. these are the different uh, components or the different parts of a computer this everything available inside a single chip that is the microcontroller okay but uh, earlier we used microprocessors nowadays also we are using microprocessor as, that is processor inside the computer uh, what is the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller micro uh, processor inside uh, registers cpu only available but in case of microcontroller uh, this everything cpu memory interrupt controller timer serial io digital io everything available inside the single chip uh, this is the difference between uh, microprocessor and microcontroller uh, Uh, different uh, types of micro eight zero five one microcontroller. The first eight zero five one microcontroller introduced by Intel uh, in nineteen eighties. That is, Intel is developed the eight zero five one microcontroller. But afterwards, uh, Philips, Atmel, Dallas, Motorola, National, and Texas, like that, uh, more companies developed the. It uh, uh, the same microcontroller, same series microcontroller. It's called eight zero five one derivatives. Uh, by developing these uh, microcontroller, they used the same architecture, same instruction set, same addressing modes, and the same addressing range. Only difference is the memory. How much memory available? That will be different. and so on are the microcontrollers that is first developed uh, intel 8051 first developed by intel in 1980 after those philips atmel tellas everybody developed with the same architecture instruction set at, um, addressing modes and addressing range so these are called derivatives of 8051 uh, the different types of ics are Eight zero three one, eight zero three T, eight zero five one, five two seven five one, and seven five two nine five two nine five one, and like that. Different derivatives available. Okay, uh, that is uh, say similar ICs of uh, this is called the derivatives of eight zero five one. What is the difference between? Uh, microprocessor and the microcontroller. So already we discussed uh, that is microcontroller is a uh, microcomputer inside a single chip. That is what are the available components in a computer? That everything available inside a computer, inside a chip. That is called a microcontroller. But in microprocessor, uh, CPU only inside. that is what are the different memory uh, that uh, memory means the different types of memories that is ram and rom uh, this is not available input out for processing input and output the io ports timers interrupts and this is not available inside the chip that is everything is separate separate uh, ics in microcontrollers microprocessors but in microcontrollers everything available in single chip everything in a single chip so it is very handy and economic but uh, if we are purchasing different ics that is now we have to uh, separate purchasing it uh, rom purchasing it at time that is everything separate separate means it will 
micro processor will be expensive and bulky uh, that is boolean operation also not possible with the micro processor but it is uh, capable to process boolean function with the microcontrollers if everything inside the ic means uh, the time accessing time is very less in microcontrollers but micro as compared to microcontroller microprocessor needed more time to access the, then uh, normally microcontroller uh, most used microcontrollers 40 pin ic it is a uh, 40 pin uh, most pins are uh, programmable pins are. but in microprocessors very less pins only programmable uh, this microprocessor is used uh, for process information processing in pcs but microcontroller as embedded system uh, for a, sep a separate separate task uh, this is the most difference that is microprocessor is uh, cpu only inside the chip but in micro controller everything inside the chip so uh, the, uh, this is very handy that is memory io ports mimos interrupts everything inside the chip means this is very handy very economic and very fast operation and can process boolean function uh, this is everything inside the chip means accessing time also very very less than compared to microprocessor this is the difference then most uh, pins are programmable in microcontrollers and is used for uh, embedded system microprocessor microcontroller microprocessor is used in a pc this is the most difference that is microcontroller is, uh, is implemented microcomputer implemented on a single chip okay uh, uh, we can go to the next step that is what are the different features of 8051 microcontrollers 8051 microcontrollers this is 8 bit cpu what do you mean by 8 bit cpu that cpu can process 8 bit at a time this is the 8 bit cpu uh, that is inside the processor that is a boolean processor that can process data at a maximum length of 8 bit if more uh, data more length available means it will be divided in groups of 8 okay and at a time 8 bits can process this is the feature first feature that is 8051 is a 8 bit processor okay then uh, uh, there is a memory that we told uh, memory also available inside uh, memory store the data and programs there are two types of memory data memory and the program memory uh, normally data memory is ram and the program memory is ROM. Uh, inside inside the own chip normally 128 byte ram and 4 kilobyte rom space available but we can uh, 64 kilobyte program memory and 64 kilobyte data memory we can interface with the, uh, this am 8051 microcontrollers that is inside inbuilt or otherwise other name is on chip program memory is 4 kilobyte we can access 64 kilobyte as external memory uh, then like that 128 bytes on chip data ram that is ram is inside of 128 byte like that the room is uh, on chip 4 kilobyte but we can as external memory we can uh, interface 64 kilobyte program and the data okay. uh, this is another feature then uh, normally normal 8051 microcontrollers are 40 uh, pin ic uh, out of this 40 pins 32 pins uh, 32 bidirectional io lines available okay that is 32 bidirectional io lines then uh, time master that is internal operation for the purpose of internal timing operation we need a time master counter uh, here two timers we are using two timers means uh, 
A0. It is denoted as P0 and P1. Uh, this is of a 16 bit, but our processor is 8 bit, so we are divided this 16 bit, we are divided into uh, two parts uh, that is, lower eight part and the upper eight part. That is, primer zero lower part and the timer zero upper part. That is what I am telling. Uh, here two timers available. This is indicated as timer 0 and timer 1. Here each timer is 16 bit. Each timer is 16 bit means uh, our uh, processor is 8 bit only processing at a time. So 16 bit how we will do? Uh, this is divided into two parts. Lower part and upper part. That is timer 0 also lower and upper part. Timer 1 also lower and upper part. That is uh, denoted as timer 0 lower part, that is TL0 and TL1. Like that, at timer 1 also TH0 and TH1 and TL1. Like that, the two timers, uh, two 16 bit timers divided as uh, TL0, TH0 uh, and timer 1, uh, TL1 and TH1. This is the two. Timers. Then full duplex serial photo that is 805 and has the uh, feature of serial data transmission only. There is no parallel data transmission not possible with 805 and microcontroller here. Serial data transmission only. The serial data transmission is called UART. What is UART? Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. That is full duplex. Uh, receiving and uh, transmitting we can uh, possible with this 805 this is full serial mode only possible not parallel mode if parallel mode another microcontroller is also used to parallel also they are using usart here serial mode means you are parallel mode also usart that is universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter here, UART means a universal asynchronous receiver transmitter. That is full duplex. This is also another feature that is full duplex serial port. Then uh, uh, interrupts, five factor interrupts or six source. That is uh, research also taken as a source interrupt. So six source interrupt, otherwise five vector interrupts structure used with the priority levels. Okay, then oscillator also inside the chip available, oscillator, crystal oscillator also inside, but uh, crystal we cannot provide in inside. So, uh, crystal and uh, its capacitors uh, that are only available outside the uh, microcontroller, 8051 microcontroller. Uh, then special function registers also, that is some registers having special functions. That is here we told RAM has uh, 128 byte uh, memory locations. 128 byte. That means uh, 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Uh, like that, uh, 128 bytes. Uh, after 128, uh, 128 is denoted as 7F. After 7F, 80 to FF. There, it is uh, some register location be given for be used for special purpose only that is called a special function registers uh, this also h0 to f of available that is these are the features of h0 5 and microcontrollers what are the features that is this is 8 bit processor that is it can process 8 bit only at a time that then next to feature is uh, memories inside that is different memories that is data memory and program memory also inside uh, data memory is called RAM and the program memory normally ROM available uh, here 128 byte RAM own chip and 4 kilobyte ROM own chip as external uh, we can interface as external memory we can interface 64 kilobyte program memory and 64 kilobyte data memory okay then next is 32 uh, bi-directional pins that is io lines are there to 
16 better timer counter that is t0 timer 0 and timer 1 this is 16 better so we divide two parts two 8 bit parts uh, timer 1 lower and timer 1 higher like that the timer 0 lower and timer 0 higher uh, then here serial transmission only uh, the signal is under data here serial transmission so it is called a UR universal asynchronous receiver transmitter then six also five interrupted vectors and one own chip oscillator circuit also available these are the features uh, what are the features we given our the inside this is the normally 180514 here uh, 8051 microcontroller I see this is peak one then here external RAM ROM available then input and IO input and output taken and given uh, for that purpose IO uh, more pins available this is normally used to uh, 8051 motor that is this is 8051 microcontroller uh, what are the features we told everything available inside the architecture uh, that is 8051 cpu this is cpu then uh, program memory 4 kilobyte program memory 128 byte ram that is data memory after 128 byte ram uh, data memory there is a special function register also available that is uh, 80 to f of area then two timers timer one timer two uh, then serial input uh, you are the uh, serial input and output given input and taken output serial io ports then four io ports uh, that i told you total out of normally 40 pin ic's we are using out of 40 pin most pins here 32 pins are uh, uh, input output uh, that is data uh, input and uh, output purpose we can take uh, uh, that is IO uh, pins okay that is 32 IO pins uh, that is divided into four uh, categories 4 to 0, 4 to 1, 4 to 4 to 3 that is 4 IO ports uh, then external memory control external memory how much uh, 64 kilobyte uh, uh, data and the 64 kilobyte program external memory. Then interrupts, uh, 5 interrupts available, uh, 6 source interrupts available. Okay, then oscillator, inbuilt oscillator also available. That is inside the microcontroller, 8051 microcontroller, uh, your oscillator part, or, uh, part is there. Uh, that is uh, crystal uh, crystal oscillator why crystal oscillator is using crystal oscillator is very stable oscillator Six, uh, 12 megahertz uh, here we required this 12 always it will provide 12 megahertz output so 8051 has inbuilt oscillator cpu program memory ram uh, special function registers two timers uh, CDL, IO, CDL input output lines uh, that is UART uh, then for IO ports external memory external memory uh, 64 kilobyte data under program external memories then interrupts uh, 5 uh, that, uh, vector interrupt of 6 source interrupts available These are, this is the architecture what are the features we studied everything uh, in in a different blocks that is it is called a block diagram and different functions uh, are given in blocks so each function available in each box that is called a uh, block diagram or architecture of h 5 and microcontroller that is individually its uh, explanation I will give you uh, this uh, CPU 8 bit CPU. Uh, this is 8 bit ALU arithmetic and logical unit. Uh, that, uh, that's why it is used for performing all 
arithmetic and logical operation. Its associated registers are register A, register B, register PSW, that is program status word, program counter, data pointer, and stat pointer. These registers are the associated with the CPU. Okay, these are the special function registers. Uh, why? Because accumulator is a we given one register location given the name accumulator. Addition and subtraction purpose compulsory one data should be in accumulator and each result stored in accumulator. B register for uh, multiplication and division one data should be in uh, B register. Program status word that it gives the status of uh, the CPU operation. And uh, this is also selecting bands uh, different uh, that is memory location, RAM location divided into different bands. Bank 0, bank 1, bank 2, bank 3. Uh, that four bands are there. This is also selected by Pro PSW. Uh, then program counter. Program counter and the data pointer holds the address, address of the data stat pointer. Uh, these are the uh, attached registers of uh, the CPU. CPU can work only on 8 bits of data at a time. Data larger that already we told, we discussed, it uh, would be broken into pieces of 8 bit. That is, this is 8 bit CPU. Oscillator. Oscillator uh, is used for that already we know that. Uh, we studied or in the oscillator is the circuit which generate uh, AC signals. Okay, for so generate signals here it is used to generate pulses. Uh, here crystal oscillator is used here by because to get stability of oscillation. It generates pulse train of 12 megahertz. Uh, that semiconductor memory. Uh, inside the 8051, we are using semiconductor memory. Uh, the semiconductor memory is used as primary storage of code and data. That is code and different codes and different data storing. For this purpose, we are using memories. Here, two types of memory already we discussed RAM and ROM. Uh, the ROM is non volatile. Uh, that is for working of ROM. Non volatile means no voltage required for its operation. If supply is off or power is off, also it will retain the data. That is non volatile memory. Uh, different types of ROMs are available from programmable read only memory, need from electronic program, electrically programmable read only memory, EE from electrically erasable, E for electrical. B for program, R ROM read only memory, then flash sheet from that is ultraviolet rays. Uh, light also we can use to for erasing purpose. First one that is from programmable read only, that is we can read only. Here electrically program. Uh, next one electrically erased and the program. Uh, next one flash uh, erasing purpose, we are using flash and uh, like that uh, electric uh, flash. Uh, electrically programmable read only memory like that. Uh, different types of ROM available. ROM is uh, normally uh, uh, to store to save programs, so, so it is also called a program memory. Here, on chip uh, 4 kilobytes ROM, but uh, ma there is a maximum provision of 64 kilobytes uh, as external memory. Okay, inside on chip 4 kilobytes, but as external memory, we can extend it as 464 kilobyte ROM. Uh, that is here ROM location IP1. Here it is denoted as hexadecimal number 000H2F0FFH. This is the internal program memory that is internal ROM. Uh, FFF means 4 kilobyte. 0 to 4 kilobyte up to this internal memory and the Bucky full external memory that is full 0 0 to FFF. 4F means uh, this is 64 kilobyte. 3F means uh, that is uh, 4 kilobyte. Okay, uh, if we are using external memory, we can utilize, fully utilized as 
64 kilobyte 0, 0, 0, 0, f f f f but if we are using internal memory internal program memory we are taken 0 0 0 0 to 0 3 f that is 4 kilobyte okay this is wrong next ram ram is a random access memory this is volatile memory that is for operation of ram compulsory voltage needed power needed if power gone we say immediately it will lose the data that is called a monotype memory different types of rams available static dynamic non volatile and that is different types of ram available this is also called a data memory uh, here on chip ram on chip ram is 128 bytes that is it is uh, in hexadecimal it is denoted as 0 0 to 7 hexa. okay after that uh, area is special function registers this rom also ram area also divided into three part general purpose read write memory and uh, a scratch part that is first 0 0 to 1 first 32 byte is general purpose then 16 but but the next 16 bit is a uh, read write memory next 80 bytes are read write and uh, that uh, scratch part Okay, this is RAM in built RAM on chip RAM. That is total 128 bytes. RAM is divided into three categories, three groups. First one is general purpose, second one is read write, third one is scratch part. Uh, general purpose 32 byte only. Uh, read write also six. That is bit bit addressable area. That is uh, one by one bit we can operate. That is 16 byte. Then read write storage that is scratch for 80 byte. Okay, this is the uh, internal diagram of RAM. Uh, that is each RAM is uh, termed as R0, R1. Here, band 0, band 1, band 2, band 3. Next, step. this is first 32 up to band 3. This is uh, general purpose area. Then bit addressable area next to 20 to 2 up. Next to 30 to 7 up. This is scratch pad area. Okay. This is the division of RAM. Then special function registers. That I already we discussed. Uh, 8051 microcontroller has uh, a special function registers. After 8082 80 FF. That is memory location 80 H2 F of H. Uh, some registers area they are uh, designed for special functions uh, that is register e accumulator b register psw means a program status order that are status of the cp like that we are using special function we are given special function for some uh, special registers so it is called a special function register this location is from 80H to FFH. This we cannot, we, uh, that is a programmer. We are the program. We cannot directly uh, access the special function uh, register areas. That is, this is from 80 to FFH. Okay. This is special function register. Total uh, 20 special function registers are there. These are the accumulator, the register program status order. Its address also given here. Stack pointer 81, uh, data pointer. Data pointer means uh, this is 16 bit. So we divide it into two parts data pointer, lower part, and data pointer, higher part. But, uh, it can process 8 bit only at a time. So uh, total 16 bit data pointer. This is for uh, holding the address uh, divided into two categories lower part and higher part. Then port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3, indirect priority control, indirect enable, uh, like that, uh, uh, different special function registers. So this is the register address. Okay. Uh, then timer mode, timer control, uh, timer 0 higher, timer 0 lower, timer 1 higher, timer 1 lower, serial control, serial buffer, power control. These are the special function registers available inside the 8051 microcontroller its memory location is also given okay this memory location specially for specifically given for uh, the special functions so, so it is called a special function registers okay 
then uh, we will discuss the pin details. Okay, uh, this is normally, normally most A0 uh, 5 and derivatives are 40 pin, but some is less, but most is 80 pin IC. So we will discuss 80 pin, uh, sorry, 805 and as a 40 pin IC. Okay, one minute. Here, different packages also available. Uh, different packages means uh, uh, pins may be in uh, two sides only so it is called a dual inline package pins may be four sides that is called a quad flat package the uh, dual inline package also two line two side only all pin arranged but equally four side means uh, it is quad dual means two quad means uh, four then leadless tip also available like that in three packages 805 and IC is available. Some ICs that is 892051 that is 20 pin IC. Their memory location is very less. So uh, we have to discuss um, 40 pin IC. Okay. Uh, this is the pin detail of 8051. Here I am given. Uh, one minute. Okay, here I am given 40 pin. We will discuss 40 pin IC. Okay. Uh, uh, 40 pin IC, uh, this is divided into uh, four ports. Uh, that is, most of the uh, pins are input output pins. Uh, that is, total out of 30, total 32 pins used for IO purpose. Input output data transfer per, uh, data. Purpose. Okay, that is uh, here total 32 we are divided into four groups. Uh, that is called the port. So what is the function of port? port uh, normal airport example, airport uh, port. Uh, this is for um, that is people and uh, other thing uh, in and uh, out purpose. So they are like that here data or address or other signals uh, in and uh, out purpose we are using this area so it is called uh, ports here uh, total 32 pins we divided into four categories that is port 0 port 1 port 2 port 3 that is total 32 pins it is divided into four so each group consists of eight pins eight group okay one group is of eight that is port zero having eight pins port one having eight pins port two have eight pins and port three also have eight pins it is out of 32 pin uh, 40 pin 32 is uh, four pin then uh, one vcc and one ground two crystal uh, reset external access ALA and the program status and mobile that uh, we will see what are the different pins that is most digital ic that is uh, uh, or ic and ic like that or logical ic mostly having uh, first initial side the first side the last pin will be ground and the second side the last pin will be vcc as like here also 20th pin is ground vss vss is ground 40 pin is 40th pin is VCC that is power. The same as digital IC here also. La, first side last pin is that is 20th pin is ground. The second side last pin is VCC. Uh, like that, uh, 18 and 19. This is the area for connecting crystal. Inside a crystal oscillator available, this crystal we are connecting externally that is uh, to. Crystal, that is crystal two points pin number 18 and pin number 19. Then how easily we will remember what are the port area, what are the different port area. One example I will tell you for easily remembering one example I will tell you. That is if you write an S, that is letter S, alphabet S on the, uh, this IC. Then, yes, where uh, yes will start a uh, right top corner, that is uh, port 0 is the area where we are starting, there is port 0. Uh, 
then S will go into left top corner. That is the area of boat one. Next, S will go to right to bottom. Um, S will end at the left bottom corner. That is uh, port 2. That is total ports are divided into four groups. How we will remember? First you write an S on IC. Where it will start? That is port 0. That is right to top corner. Total 8 pin. 40 is VCC. So pin number 32 to 39 is 8 pins are port 0. Next S. Yes, yes, letter S. Yes. You remember letter S. Yes. Uh, S yes will come to left top corner. That is port 1. There also pin number 1 to pin number 8 is port 1. Next it will come to right down. That is the area of port 2. Uh, pin number 21 to pin number 28 is port 2. Then S will end at the left bottom corner. That is already we given the ground for 20, crystal for 19 and 18. Then baki area that is pin number 10 to pin number uh, 17 is uh, port 3. Okay. These are the easily we will uh, remember. Easily we will memorize uh, how port, uh, where is port 0, 1, 2 and 3. Then port 0 also 0, 0 0.0 that is 8 we are indicated as port 0, 0, port 0, 1, port 0, 2, port 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0, 7. Then left side that is pin number 32 to 39. Then port 1 left side pin number 1 to 8 that is port 1, 0 to 4 to 1, 7. And next, uh, pin number 2, uh, uh, port 2, port 2, there is one difference, that is port 0, port 1, port 3, from top to bottom we are written 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, like that. But in case of port 2, from bottom to top we have to write port 2, 0, port 2, 1, port 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, and 27. That is pin number 21 is port 20 and the pin number 28 is 27. Like that to opposite it will come. Then pin number um, after uh, from bottom to first side of bottom to 20, 19, 18 already gone. Baki for pin number uh, port 3. That is pin number 10 to pin number 70, port 3. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37. Okay, then uh, Baki pin number 9 is reset full reset for a purpose. We are using for, uh, pin number 9. Then uh, 3 pins only pending 31, 30, 29. That is pin number 31 is external memory accessing purpose. This is active low pin. If uh, active low pulse is coming means we can access external memory. Uh, and uh, by using uh, pin number 29, that is program store externally. Okay, if uh, external pins, uh, that is EA pin 0 means uh, we can access external data. EA pin high means uh, we can access internal data uh, by using PSEN. PSEN means uh, program store externally. Then ALE, ALE means uh, address large enable. These are the pins that is pin number 1 to 8 uh, port 1 pin number 9 reset pin number 10 to 17 3 port 3 uh, then 18 19 crystal uh, 20 ground pin number 21 to 28 port 2 29 program store externally uh, pin number 30 access large enable pin number 31 external access pin number 32 to 39 uh, Port to zero pin number 40 VCC. Then one more thing, what are the different um, uh, functions? Uh, that is different functions. Here, port 1 having only Indian IO data only, that is data in and out purpose only, port 1. But port 0 uh, has alternate functions. So what are the alternate functions here? 
AT0 that is external uh, memory we, we have to address in time uh, access time 16 bit address lines and 8 bit data lines we are using how many address lines 16 address lines how many data lines 8 data lines 16 address lines we are uh, denoted as a0 to a15 8 data lines how we are indicated d0 to d7 okay uh, here port 0 is used for uh, the lower part of the address that means uh, total 16 address uh, we are divided into two part lower and higher part lower part means a0 to a7 higher part means a8 to a15 a0 and lower part address and data we are multiplexed and uh, uh, given to the port 0 the alternative functions of port 0 is multiplexed lower part address and data that is address 0 and data 0 uh, multiplexed and we will get ad 0 address 1 and data 1 we will get ad 1 address 2 plus d2 data 2 multiplexed we will get ad 2 uh, address 3 and data 3 multiplexed we will get ad 3 address 4 and data 4 uh, multiplexed we will get ad4 like that ad5 ad6 ad7 if received uh, this address lines ad0 inside uh, then ale ale pin address latch enable is used for accessing the address or data okay if ale is higher means uh, this is address latch enable that is accessing the address inside if ALE is low means accessing the data inside. Like that inside large used for separating address and data. First multiplexed outside and inside demultiplexing. That is inside it is dividing address A0 and D0. And ALE high means full address lines will access. ALE low means full data lines will access like that port 0 0 say in same order port 0 0 ad 0 port 0 1 ad 1 port 0 2 ad 2 port 0 3 ad 3 like that port 0 7 ad 7 same as port 2 0 uh, there port 2 normally from bottom to top port 2 to port 2 7 from bottom to top same address higher order address also from bottom to top that is port 2088, port 21A9, port 22 address 10, port 23 address 11, port 24 address 12, port 25 address 13, port 26 address 14, port 27 address 15. Like that, the total address we given, 16 address lines we given to uh, multi uh, or alternative function of port 0 and port 2. Then port 1 having no alternate functions. Port 3 has alternate functions. What are the port 3 alternate functions? That is, what are the other functions? A receiver, transmitter, interruption, timer, rewrite. These these are the alternate functions. How we will remember it? Okay, do you heard RTI Act, Right to Information Act? That you just remember regarding RTI Act. Where first letter R. So here also first letter R. Second letter uh, T. Here also second uh, uh, T. Third I. Here two I's are there. Like that uh, R T I. That is receiver R X T. That is port 3. R uh, receiver. Port 3 1 transmitter R T. I 2 part. That means uh, interrupt. Here interrupt 0 and the interrupt 1. Okay. That is R T I. First 4. Receiver, transmitter, interrupt 0, interrupt 1. That is RTI. Next one, timer. There are two 16-bit timers we are using. Timer 0, timer 1. That is P3.4, P3.5 is timer area. Okay. Then next, write and read function. Okay. That is uh, external external uh, signal writing and reading. This is uh, this uh, Lower means uh, right uh, 
this is active law. Read also active law. This is lower means uh, writing lower means uh, external data under uh, and address anything external data we can write externally write or externally uh, read. Now for that purpose, write and read. How we will remember first write or first read? Uh, how we will write uh, read something first? We have write then read. Okay, so first pin is write, second pin is read. Like that, uh, we can remember both three, uh, three uh, alternate function also. That is RTI at first. That is receiver, transmitter, interrupts. Here two interrupts are NB0, NB1. First zero, then one. And then timer zero, timer one. Then write the reader. These are the functions of uh, these 8051 uh, IC pins. That is four ports, 32 IO data. That, that is 32 uh, data. Uh, we can then uh, 16 address lines, uh, 8 data lines, uh, then reader uh, uh, receiving, transmitting, two interrupts, uh, two timers, write, read, crystal, uh, supply, ECC, EA. EA means external access, external data accessing time. EA pin, this is active now, so EA pin should be ground. Then only we can access uh, external memory, data or external memory access. Then ALE, address large enabled. Its name also given, address large enabled. That is, A, uh, port 0 is the alternative function for AD0 to AD7. Here, it is the multiplexed data, address and data. Okay, so we are receiving this multiplexed AD0 to AD7. If address large enabling is high, means it will access address. Otherwise, data. Okay, then A8 to A15 is the alternate function of port 2. Okay, this is the pin data. Also. Okay, any doubt you can clarify now. Hello. This is the our topic today. I uh, uh, thought that you understood very well. Okay, you can um, ask any doubt regarding that we can uh, clarify now itself. Hello? Hello? Hello, ma'am. Ah, hello, any doubt you can clarify now regarding pin details. Uh, the students will be in the mute mode, ma'am, because they will uh, chat okay. only. Okay. Uh, okay.